and we are prepping for surgery. Why? Because this is driving me crazy. It's already started falling down. I just put this in yesterday. I kind of uh, suspected that that would happen. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build the famous light box that I built for the Mortal Kombat in another video, but I didn't show it very well in the other video. I just kind of showed the finished product. But this time we're going to actually be building it on camera so that you can see. Uh, th these are the pans that I use for the light boxes. And I get these from Dollar Tree. And they are two pound loaf pans. And they fit perfectly. I'll show you over here. They're the perfect size to fit into a marquee. You just take them, cut them, and then uh, put them together. You'll see how we do it. And that's going to solve our lighting solution once and for all. Because as you can see over here, maybe it'll come out on camera. It doesn't come out quite as good on camera as it does uh, in person. But it's definitely much brighter down here than it is up here, of course. Because all of our lights are down there. So uh, if you watched the last video, you saw, you know, kind of how we tried to string up that awkward strip of lights um, <laughs> unsuccessfully, apparently. So, so we're going to fix that situation, and we're also going to put it on the stock switch because I hate this thing being on all the time. It's only been one day, and I already hate it being on all the time. So, yeah, let's fix it right now. So first we're going to just measure this, and it's 17 and a half, so we'll go over here, grab our pans, see how long the two of them are. Uh, about 17 and an eighth. So they're not quite long enough. We would have to use three pans to get all the way edge to edge. But I don't think we need to do that. Because um, this is going to be so reflective and diffuse the light real well. So I think we're going to be alright with just two. So what we'll do is we'll just start cutting. I should really have some snips for this but I'm only going to leave one side on each of them and try not to cut yourself on this because that's really sharp Then we're going to fold these top lips in like that so it's straight. Put them together like this, just like that. We're going to use good old Gorilla Tape. Try to, try to make them straight. That, there we go. Okay, turn this off. And there we go, and then we're just gonna string the lights up on that. Actually, going to start up here at the top.
sama All right, and you should end up with something kind of like this, I guess. You just smash these down real good and make sure they're not going to fall off. It's just going to kind of sit like this. Okay, I'll just get my trusty tape. And there we go. It's in there pretty good. It's not going anywhere. So plug it in. Let's see what it looks like. That looks much better. It's brighter, the color is more even from the top to the bottom. Looks great. Turn that off. Nice even color. There's a little shadow right there. I think that's maybe going to be unavoidable. I mean, you could like twist this out a little bit. And then kind of let the uh, top panel guide where the top of this is going to be. Because that groove is right here. I don't know if you can see my finger moving behind there, but right here. That's where the groove is. So I think there's inevitably going to be a shadow at the top, unfortunately, just because of where the groove is. It's kind of in the light path. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. So now let's get it hooked up to the stock switch. All right, I got the, the bottom panel off of the control panel. And this is what we have. Now on Turtles, this thing actually has 13 screws in it. So <laughs> there was a lot to remove to get that apart. But uh, now we're going to have to take, take this uh, encoder off. And uh, it looks like there's three screws holding it, so we're going to go ahead and do that and be right back. Okay, so with the PCB removed um, and out of the way, we have access to the stock switch now. And I've got a multimeter here. And all we're going to do, we're going to set this to continuity beep. And what that does is it tells us... Um, if there's continuity with the uh, switch in various positions. So right here there is continuity. Right here there is not continuity. So the switch is currently is it on or off? Let me check here. Okay, it's on. So actually we want, we probably want these two prongs on my right side here. But let's turn it off and make sure there's no longer continuity. No longer continuity. So with it, with the switch on, these are, these are good. And with the switch off, these do not allow voltage to pass through. So that's how we're going to hook it up to our marquee light. Okay, so now we're just going to run some wire back just to see how long we need it to be. Uh, 
Um, this doesn't have to be super precise, you just don't want the wire to be too short, of course. That's going to be plenty, probably more than enough. So we'll, especially with the panel down. But it's nice to be able to open the panel like this when you have wires running into the back without um, unplugging your stuff. So you want, you want to have a good amount of slack. We don't want to strip too much there. Okay, and then we'll just cut another one. We'll make it exactly the same length. So for two of the sides, we don't want to take too much off. Because in my case, I'm actually going to put some spade connectors on there. Now this step is actually optional. You could actually just, there's holes in these switches. You could actually just, um, you know, run the wire through the holes, like kind of twist it on there and then electrical tape it. I mean, if you really had to, um, cause I know not everybody has crimpers and, you know, spade connectors laying around. So, um, you could do that if you needed to. Um, I, I wouldn't, I can't say that I would recommend doing it that way, <laughs> but you know, it'll work for sure. Now for these sides, we want to do, we want a little more because we're going to be splicing into the other wires over here. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So up here, let's, get, uh, let's make sure these spade connectors are the right size. They look like it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to grab a insulator, twist the wire a little bit, put the insulator on first. And then uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my uh, spade connector started. Let's see, this is going to be... 28 to 24 probably yeah so we'll just run this in the top here just like that and crimp now we have a nice uh, nice perfect crimp there it's nice and secure so we'll just put that one over here on this side and then we'll just do the same thing with this other wire nice and solid I always like to give it a little tug test obviously if you pull real hard no matter how well it's crimped you're just gonna rip it out so don't don't tug too hard just Now inside, we're going to make sure that this is unplugged. Very important. Okay. And then um, this one that goes to your marquee light, we're going to cut it. So if you're not comfortable doing this, uh, you can stop right here because once you cut this, uh, you're committed to it. There's no going back. So go ahead and cut that. Strip that insulation off. We're going to do that on both sides. Okay. And then these little wires here. Actually, I want a little more slack on that.
Okay. These are real tiny little wires. I'm just going to get some heat shrink tubing. This is another optional step. I know not everybody has heat shrink tubing laying around in a heat gun. But I just like to do it this way. If you want to just twist the wires together and tape them up with electrical tape, that's going to be fine too. Okay, and then this red wire, you can actually just connect it right back up. How it was. Okay, I'm going to start by twisting. Just to get it started. And another optional step, I'm going to solder. Um, let me make sure my iron's clean. You don't have to do this, guys. I just like to make sure it's nice and secure. You can just twist it like it is now and put some electrical tape on. So that's basically it as far as hooking up the switch goes. I'm not going to show you like all the soldering and all the um, all the heat shrinking and all that. Um, basically all it is is you just hook up one side one side of this to the switch and the other side of it to the switch. So those are the two wires we ran from the switch and you can see one comes from the wall into the switch and then out of the switch back into this plug for the marquee. And that's really it. Before I go, one thing that I didn't notice until I started reassembling this was that um, these were st sticking out in the way of actually putting the PCB back on. You can actually take them and um, and just bend these leads down. It's fine. It'll be fine. And then you'll be able to remount your uh, PCB just fine. So just a little tip there. Now we can enjoy all of our hard work. There we go. Now the game works. Then let's just test the switch one last time. Off. Yep. Cool. On. Nice. So now the stupid thing isn't on all the time. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for watching and thanks for your support. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.